going on dudes and dudettes so very important stuff to speak about towards the end of this video so save that for the end but yeah to start off the Lakers did get that game four victory against the Portland Trailblazers it was obviously on Kobe day 824 so that definitely showed out even at one point the score was 24 to 8 which was amazing even LeBron said he definitely around that time he felt like Kobe was in the building with them and it was great I, I knew I was hoping that they would get the W and I'm definitely glad and excited that they did get the W because there would be no other chance for I believe the Lakers to play in August so this was definitely a perfect match and perfect timing for everything and definitely glad it went our way and looks like they'll be able to sweep the series just because Damian Lillard looks like he has left the bubble to get a second uh, look on his knee just because it's it hasn't been right and I guess he's not going to be able to return back for the series which sucks for Portland but hopefully the Lakers will be able to take care of business at some point but I'll get into that a little bit later and then <clears throat> I guess Vegas has put out odds uh, for the college basketball tournament championship even though we don't know officially if there are going to be games or not later in the fall but I guess Duke and Villanova have the best odds to win I don't know who's on Villanova this year or who they got uh, recruit wise but Duke obviously has a lot of the top players coming back and a lot of good guys coming in this year as freshmen so they should be up there but we'll just have to wait and see as usual when it comes to Duke. Then USC football and their men's water polo, polo team had to pause their uh, workouts right now just because I believe there was eight positive tests of COVID. They didn't <clears throat> excuse me, technically say that it was uh, those teams that were involved, but I guess those teams are pretty much the only ones that are on campus right now. So they paused the, the being able to practice for those guys and then being able to trace it, see how it goes, but everything should be able to go within the next week. But yeah, as of right now, everything's paused there, but when it comes to some positive news, not positive COVID, uh, the NFL said last week that they had zero positive tests for COVID, which is pretty amazing, especially because they haven't really put any of those guys in a straight bubble so far. They're just kind of making sure they make the correct choices while they're at home with their families, and then the families make great choices as well. And as of this second, there are zero positive tests, but might be different once teams start traveling as well to have to wait and see about that and the nfl or sofi stadium where the chargers will be playing their home games along with the rams said that there will be no fans in the stadium this year just to take the extra precautions to be able to not transfer this dumb virus around so i think it's a good idea just i don't know how they're gonna get the revenue back if there's exactly no fans at all i mean some places have talked about even having a certain number of fans, especially college football places, but even that still seems a bit sketchy to me. But yeah, they did say that the Chargers, especially when it comes to next year's free agent class, have uh, like two of the top 25 guys in all of the free agency, which it sucks, but I mean, they, these guys definitely deserve the praise because wide receiver Keenan Allen will be a free agent next season next offseason along with their tight end hunter henry both starters for the chargers i think when it comes to a tight end position you could kind of find that anytime whether it's in the draft next season or some other guy who's available who will be a free agent as well so i'm not really worried about the hunter henry just because he always gets injured as well but keenan allen it's tough you want him to finish his career as a charger but he will be over 30 plus years old, so it might be time to move on. But we'll just have to wait and see what, what goes on with that. But yeah, it will be tough to see Keaton Allen go. I just hope he doesn't go to one of our division foes as well. So yeah, we'll see how that goes coming next summer in 2021. To finish off this video, so yes, Cameron Smith, the uh, ex-USC linebacker, now Minnesota Vikings linebacker that I mentioned for that was having open heart surgery that he found out he had due to a COVID test he had which luckily he did have and 
yes it went successful so everything looks good it might be a little bit of a while for him to get back onto the field but there's still possibility he will be able to play which is great for him he's one of those better you know all-around football players so good luck to him and definitely glad everything went successful for him but another guy who's dealing with some type of injury for one of my teams is of course I mentioned him the last time wide receiver Mike Williams for the Chargers it looks like he's gonna be out two to four weeks officially but of course if that happens and that definitely bleeds into the a regular season he could miss the first two to three weeks which sucks but gonna have to see how that all develops because it is like a collarbone ish type of deal he made a dive without any pads on for some reason and yeah messed that up which sucks but hoping for a speedy recovery so we can be able to do what this next topic is is that this article said that chargers were going to be one of those teams that were going to surprise a lot of people and actually do good have a good record and make the playoffs but any other like type of simulation or like mock drafts for next season where they project who, which teams are going to be towards the end or at the end or who could win and everything chargers are always having a top 10 pick which means they had a crappy year just like they did this last year when they had a top 10 pick but i don't know i think they have enough pieces with that when they're healthy and everything's clicking correctly they should be able to do well it's just gonna have to battle this COVID thing that's gonna be more important to where these guys can't be uh, you know injured or off off have to be taken off for a week because of the COVID stuff so I think they can surprise but I just don't want another eight and eight season and be picking in the middle of the draft like I always say it's just retarded but yes and miscellaneous news before I get into the real bigger stuff is the killers they recently had a their newest record come out a day before my birthday last week which is really cool i, I like that whenever i like more than half the songs on the record it's definitely a better <laughs> it's always a good thing in my opinion it was only a, a 10 uh song record but i still thought it was great i like most of the songs on there and yeah apparently they're already going to start working on new music which is kind of crazy but also not too crazy just because it's covid and you're just staying home doing nothing so it's kind of obvious that they would have all these things in the works and being able to get out some more stuff and especially if the last record was just 10 out 10 songs it's kind of easier to do that instead of like a 15 album song 15 song album so yeah definitely looking forward to it hopefully it's just as good as this one and yeah wait and see looking forward to it but then getting into the bigger news so lakers were scheduled to play yesterday wednesday yes wednesday but uh, the milwaukee bucks decided to boycott their first game because they had the first game that uh, day against the uh, orlando magic and then um sequentially after that we found out that all the games were postponed uh for that night and then <clears throat> when it came to players meetings and everything like that towards last night and even this morning it seemed like the lakers were more upset that the Bucks, like they, they weren't upset at the fact that they did it, but that they kind of did it alone without any, like mentioning it to anybody or being as united. But once they met the first time, they kind of figured everything out and were on the same page. But now I'm pretty sure the games today were also are also postponed, which is pretty, pretty obvious. See, there weren't gonna be any games again the, the following day after those games were postponed, but even there's like some point, some talk last night that the, both the Lakers and Clippers were the two only teams that decided to not want to participate in the rest of the playoffs this season. Um, I guess they were just that frustrated and upset about the whole situation. Of course, it's a bad situation to have been up there in Wisconsin. We all know about it now, but yeah, <clears throat> I just think everybody's been blindsided and I think the NBA players thought they would be able to have more control and being able to get their message out while they're down there and i think they've been doing a pretty good job especially in their post game or post practice meetings they have always been mentioning george floyd or brianna taylor and now jason blake the most recent uh, victim to this stuff so 
I think that they've been doing good. Uh, obviously, everybody could do better, which is what I'm sure they're striving for, which is great for them. I, I hope they, they're able to get what, they're, what they want and need to be able to get the message out. And hopefully <clears throat> there is some justice that gets uh, solved up there in Wisconsin because uh, as usual, nothing's been happening with those, those cops or the cop that did the shooting on the guy. So it's just overall a sucky situation. Hopefully good things come, <clears throat> excuse me, come out of this. What I heard from watching a lot of the ESPN stuff this morning was that they're gonna maybe be able to resume the games on Friday. So they would just have the games that were happening on Wednesday just restart that again and with games that are supposed to be played today restart on on saturday as well so it could be going back to normal just like Shaq said just because they don't play games right now or you know ask for change at this very second nothing's gonna happen like right away obviously so i think them staying down there in the bubble being able to have the, the ultimate platform of being one of the only bigger sports on right now it's probably better for them. We said that going into the bubble, that there was a better platform. And <clears throat> I just think they'll be able to get through this, hopefully. And hopefully we will, we will get answers with a lot of the other BS that's happening up there in Wisconsin. And yeah, just have to wait and see. Like everything, definitely hoping everything goes right for everybody. Thanks for watching, people. Like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what y'all think. Have a great rest of your day. Right on.